As you notice, the build process first performs a series of sysgen operations to create executable binary files from the OS component libraries. If you go to the top portion of this build window of your platform builder, as you realize, it basically starts the sysgen. And if you go down, you realize that these are the settings of sysgen. So the sysgen basically performs important operations in order to go ahead and basically create executable binaries file from the OS component libraries that we have included here, part of our platform. So as you see, it checks basically available options in here and it provides the reports for settings that has been already taken place and uh, basically it compiles and links the board support package files. If no errors have occurred, this uh, executable and other files are copied to the release directory. Please note that this release active configuration has nothing to do with the release directory. In order to see the release directory from the build OS, we select open release directory and that basically specifies the location. As you see on the WinCE 5.0 workspaces, Apex platform, the release directory, depending on the type of a configuration that you have chosen, in this scenario I've chosen release, it would be release. If you have chosen debug, then this directory would be debug. This location would be release directory. Now, since the build process has successfully finished, as you see, I have two warnings. In your case, you might have more warnings uh, or no warnings at all, but you should pay attention that you should have no errors whatsoever. So some warnings such as this particular section in here at this point in the build are normal and expected part of the process. Others indicate a more serious problems in the platform software or configuration really depending on what you have done on your platform. So basically we are done and as you see not only we have uh, compiled and uh, basically built our hello from Apex as well as uh, you know Apex platform catalog but also we have gotten uh, a new directory uh, right here. They call it release directory. And if I go ahead and uh, try to find out a particular file to be listed in here, which is basically uh, nk.ben directory nk.ben this file now, nk.ben, would be the actual image of your platform that would be launched on your ebox. So now let's go ahead and see how do we go and uh, test this image into our ebox uh, and we can run it on the ebox and see exactly if the image works correctly.